okay now let's first change the label and then load the data from the database so first label would be the uh, name of translation like uh, translation or we can say that it would be the language language then second would be the name of item then third would be the description right and uh, here uh, you can load the values of this one so let me remove the other values okay fine and now i want to load this so uh, load the dynamic stuff here and i will also show you that how you can run this globally for example we have this page we are loading this uh, uh, content here and we can uh, we can show the data from this one like welcome.php we have a logical layer here but what if we don't have any logic so how we will render this using globally right i will show you there so let me first to complete the uh, stuff here so here i'm going to load the i'm going to first to make this comment because if i will forgot so this will throw an exception and i will remember that i need to show you that how you can set this globally okay uh, here i'm going to set this to item translations right so i have one item mm, so translation mm, you can first find the item and then store its um, you can uh, find its translation like this uh, item or simply you can say that a uh, translation where id equal this item id and then you can get the options but i'm going to do this with this one find and here we need the item id item id and then if it's uh, not an item id so throw 404 exception that we are unable to find this right and uh, how we will get this item id so we'll collect this so uh, uh using if i go here and remove this out here i will collect this so uh, item id even you want to use this uh, request you can use this okay and here we will get the item id no 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 i will get this every time i will get this from the request right uh, for now hmm, i will add this later on no problem uh, here i am finding the item then i need the item that is it working so just let me pass the hard coded item id one because we have item one so let's refresh too few argument yes it's throwing due to this one so just save this one and give it a refresh and yes we have one item which contain one id okay now i want to load its translation so simply go here uh, translation okay translations and here i'm going to say item and then it's translation so here we need to build the relation between this item and translation so how we can do this so simply click on this item and write public function translations okay translations because we are going to build the one to many relation so return this has many right and here i'm going to say translation translation model okay and then class i don't need to mention it so uh, here uh, here it's language id then it's a primary key right because i'm following the laravel convention so laravel automatically pass these things by default okay now it's created here and i can call here this translations okay so this will load all of the translation right so if i give it a refresh and uh, yes it's loading first one that if i click on this relations so it's loading the four items right four items their translations and so on things right okay so we are uh, showing here all of the translation uh, but i want to 
display only one translation then basically I want to give you a demo so I'm going to uh, load the translation based on the language so I don't want to get these translations like this I want to get here translation where uh, uh, where language rd equal language rd or I can also you can also do this or if you want to follow this step you can do this too right here I will pass this so uh, language rd so language rd and then apply the where condition uh, apply the first if you want to collect this so translation and then show its translation here right and you can also do this with this step too so you can apply here directly where condition on it and then you can fetch it so using the rd language language rd and then here you can pass the language language rd right and uh, uh, this will come from our uh, parameter so we will collect the language code from uh, here right and then we will check this into the database and then find its translation right now find its id not the translation so here i'm going to enter the request for for now and later on i will request and uh, uh, this request contain a uh, language language and then I want to store this uh, language here into this uh, language right or language code and then I need to set this language code here in the language model here language model and then here I'm going to set this where code equal this language code right this one I'm going to collect the first one first so if now let me save this into the language variable so if there is uh, we are unable to find the language so then through this that language we are not able to find the language I right? return back with the uh, with errors you can see that uh, unable unable to find the language please choose please choose correct language right okay fine please choose correct language and if this language is found so you can get the language and then get its id right we are we have this object and we are getting the id from this object and then we want to collect it so first translation okay each trans uh, each item have only one english translation each item have only one french translation right so don't have any multiple translation of same language so we have translations and here i'm going to pass this to this compact to translations so yeah, I'm going to add this here down move the space okay we are passing these translations here and I'm going to loop through these translation so uh, before this first check that we have any translation so here I'm going to let me cut this out here I'm going to check that too. if we have any translations let me count them translations greater than zero so then I want to uh, display this table right like this so if we don't have so it will say that uh, else uh, we don't have any translation or no record found something like this no record found right you can say that uh, uh, color would be red 
and text would be a line center a line center something like this right no record found and if we have found this record so let's reload this syntax error end of the file okay let me see it what's the error okay so here i need to end if i entered this uh, section let's get refresh count must be uh, countable type array mm, translation uh, given okay let's go back here we have translation where first mm. so let me dd this translation what's the issue let's get refresh uh, we have first translation which belongs to this we are getting its language code if we type this fr so it will get the fr so just type this and we are getting the mm, french this one is a french yeah french okay we are getting the things and uh, we are passing this compact translation same and then let's go here translations same count if greater than zero then this is so why it's getting the problem count must be typeable countable array translation given okay we have only one translation because here we are getting the first so that's why i added this count on this so i need to just check that if it exists then i want to display this out right so save this one get a refresh and yes okay so here i need the dynamic value so how i can do this so simply uh, cut this out enter the values like uh, i don't need to add the for each loop i need to collect them using the translation object so tra translation so this one would be one translation not the multiple translation so uh, similarly this would be the translation this would be the translation right this would uh, one we are finding the first item then it's first translation right because we um, don't want to display here multiple languages because we are changing them here right if we want to display only uh, french uh, so that's why we want to display the french item okay so the ta uh, not the table this would be translation and then translation have uh, a language id uh, for now i'm showing the language id later on i will change this with the building the model relationship translation oops translation contain the name okay this one contain the translation description save this one and get refresh and yes we are getting the two language then it's title description if i choose this to urdu refresh and yes we are getting the urdu and here now i want to build the relationship between the language and uh, the item right basically i want to display the language name not the language id right so how we can do this so i will do this in the next video and my uh, video is going longer it's already longer video sorry for this because i want to complete the topic so thank you so much for watching the video and i will meet you in the next one Bye bye